Let's see how much damage I can do before my kid wakes up. Hey guys, it's Gabby. What is up? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is very exciting because we are going to be doing a little shopping spree online and basically refreshing my entire wardrobe. I just feel like I've been so stuck lately in my fashion and identity and just becoming a mom and like so much has changed. I feel like my closet has really been kind of stuck between like 2016 me and like current me and it is just not serving me any purpose at this point. Like there's some good pieces that I have and then just like things that I don't really wear or gravitate towards or like feel like is necessarily my style. We are going to be doing a cool closet refresh and we're going to be doing some damage online. I made a whole Pinterest board as well insert some of the pictures that I've pinned and like the outfit inspo that I've pinned I'm not really sure like what you call this aesthetic so please leave me a comment down below on what you would like name this style I guess but kind of more of the like put together I guess preppy you would say I don't know if that's kind of what we're keeping in mind today when we're looking for pieces so I have my laptop here and we are ready to get browsing so the first site I kind of want to look at but I'm not sure if I'm going to buy anything from is Abercrombie and returns are so hard I feel like that just deters me from actually buying from the brand but starting off here at Abercrombie I Okay, now that I think of it, maybe this is not the best place to start. There's so many cute items, but I feel like I could find something super similar on other sites. So we're actually gonna jump over to Aerie and American Eagle right now. Oh, they had a really cute dress I saw in store the other day, this one. Oh my gosh, it's also on sale. Wait, this green color is gorgeous. This is kind of cute, this little polo fleece. One thing I do kind of like is this like oatmeal beige top. The only thing that I, I don't know, do I like how scooped it is? They do have cute sweaters. I feel like these kind of like cropped cardigans are very in right now. This is cute. I am going to add this one to the cart. I think it's the Dreamy Drape cargos that I've been looking at previously. I think we're going to go with the olive. Let's hop on over to H&M because I feel like sometimes they have really good finds. First thing I maybe want to get is a new crew neck. Now, if you guys don't know, my all-time favorite crew neck is actually from H&M in the men's section. The loose fit sweatshirt. This is it. It's even more affordable in the US, but they have so many gray colors. Look how many colors they have. My favorite one, of course, is this light gray. It's my favorite. I wear that one the most. I get a size extra small. I probably should replace it. She's getting a little well loved. Thing, obviously, we are looking for cardigans and sweaters. I feel like these, I don't know what, gold detail sweaters are super in right now. So I'm going to add that to my card, actually. Okay, not really finding anything else at H&M currently. So let's jump over to Dynamite, which again, I feel like is kind of making a, not a comeback, but like it's very popular right now, at least in Canada, because it's kind of like the Aritzia dupe. Definitely want some basic items as well to kind of refresh my closet, but I don't know if I should just get the Aritzia ones because that's what I know and like. I feel like the two color thing is really in right now. I was vibing with this little white and black one but i guess they don't have any in my size what about any knitwear Ooh, wait this is cute this is perfect okay i think i got enough cream one so we're gonna go with this brown oh my gosh wait did i just find this sweater tank top thing <gasps> It's on sale in my size. Okay, we have to get that. I feel like that's good for tops. Okay, now let's jump back over to Abercrombie since I have more of an idea of what I'm looking for and what the other stores have offered. Still looking for that kind of graphic crew. Kind of expensive though, $99. I feel like we are very close to the vibe. We are just not quite there. But if you guys know of any like cute little graphic crews and where to get them, please let me know. So I'm kind of shocked that like most of the stuff is already sold out. Okay, let's see if they have any graphic tees. 
Okay, now look in the graphic hoodie section, but I did find this cute little cardigan. I love this black and white stripes. I think this looks so cute, very classy and elegant, but why is it $112? I just don't think I can justify that one. I'm actually going to just skip Abercrombie, sadly, and we're gonna jump into Aritzia, which I know this is where the damage is going to be done. I definitely like getting more of the basic items from Aritzia. I find that that's what I wear the most. And I actually need a replacement of my everyday t-shirt from Babaton. The ones that are more cropped, I guess, are, I don't know if they're being discontinued, but they're on super sale right now and completely sold out. Sadly, I missed the boat on that. So we're gonna get the hip length one. That's fine. I just need like a replacement of my basic white t-shirt. And I swear this one is the best ever. This is my absolute favorite. I'm gonna get a new one of that. The other thing I wanted to get is slouchy socks. As we already mentioned, that's super on trend right now. Ooh, wait, the best ever slouchy ankle sock. Yeah, soft tan. Is that also on sale? Cute. Okay, yep. $5.99, heck yeah, add to cart. Wait, what's the difference between the best ever and the Wilfred scrunch? I kind of am curious, maybe I should get one of each? They both look cozy, love the tan color. I'm just gonna get one of each. Oh, the other thing I wanted to look for, it was like a little ribbed shirt, what are they called? The home stretch crew. Okay, I definitely wanna get a little ribbed tee. I think gray, gray or white. I definitely want, again, more of a timeless classic. Maybe this light gray color. I'm gonna go with this one. And I wanna go with a small. I literally don't know how I'm getting so lucky with like sale items today, but I found this little home stretch scoop neck ribbed cami. This is so cute. This is Epicurean Brown. I'm gonna get this one. I'm also gonna get this color called chocolate sorbet. It kind of looks more like a blush pink, like a ruby chocolate almost. So we're gonna go with that one too because I think those are two really nice fall colors. Okay, I just jumped on Skims for a second because I was like, you know what? I haven't tried this brand. I've heard great things about it. And you know, let me let me just see. I was quickly reminded why I don't shop at Skims. $80 for a t-shirt? I know people like swear by these things, but like that's just a lot. I guess that's out of the question. Never mind. I feel like we're kind of good for clothes. I'm really happy with the pieces that I picked and I can't wait for those to come in so I can share with you everything that I got in a little haul. But now we need to do shoes, which is a part I really, really struggle with. I don't get shoes. I don't get how to style them, what's trendy, what looks good, what kind of styles to go for. This is definitely going to be the hard part. I have some Nike Air Force Ones and like running shoes, but I don't have any like cute, trendy shoes. Actually just got these dupes for the Ugg Tasmans, I think they are, at Costco. These are amazing, $35, you have to go get these. This is like my most trendy shoe right now, okay you guys? And I'm kind of wearing them more as like house slippers than shoes. And depending if I actually wanna go back and get a second pair of these to wear as like actual shoes and then have one for slippers. I know the Ugg Golden Stars, I think they are, like the clog type of Uggs are very popular right now. And like the slide type of Uggs are also very popular. So I kind of want to get something along those lines. And then I know like chunkier sneakers are also like a good option. But other than that, like I don't really know. So please help girl out down below in the comments and let me know what kind of shoes I should be adding to my closet. I have basic white sneakers and I have running shoes. That's pretty much it. So. Any other suggestions you have, please let me know down below. I feel like ankle boots are out. Like nobody wears ankle boots anymore. It's really leaning into like Uggs or chunky sneakers. So I think that's what we're going to look for. Okay, I'm looking at the Golden Star Uggs right now. I feel like I need to go try these on and make sure that I get the right size, number one. And number two, make sure that I actually like the look of them on my feet. So I'm not gonna order these just yet. I think I'm gonna try and go into store and try these on. I think shoe shopping is just so much easier in person than it is online. I'm going to actually pause the little online shopping and then maybe bring you guys along to the mall for when I actually go try these on. 
Okay, all of my packages have finally arrived. It is a week later since I filmed the actual shopping portion. So let's go ahead and do the haul and try on of all of these items. Starting off, let's go with Aritzia because they were the sweetiest for shipping. This came in like two days and I have been dying to unbox this since it came in. I was going to hang everything up on my clothing rack, but I thought let's just do like an OG actual unboxing of everything. I feel like I found some really good stuff at Aritzia. So first thing are these slouchy socks. One of these was on markdown. This is the best ever slouchy crew sock. I got them in a size extra small, small. This is the color soft tan. And then I also got these Wilfred scrunch socks. They're heather out beige. So I thought that these two would be super cute for fall. I know that slouchy socks are very trendy right now to wear with like Uggs and stuff. So I thought that these would be super cute since I don't actually own any of these and they just look super cozy. So very excited to add these. I've been dying to wear them and now I can finally unbox them for you guys. The next thing I got were two tank tops and these are the scoop neck cami. This is epicurean brown and I got this one in a size small because I wasn't really sure what size I was going to be but this is the TNA home stretch one. Just something super simple to wear jeans or with a skirt and under some cardigans and sweaters and stuff and they are a nice cropped length. And then I also got this one which I believe was also on a markdown and this is the chocolate sorbet one but they only had a size extra small left so I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be stretchy enough for these to actually still comfortably fit but I just love these two colors they scream fall to me and I think both of these were on some sort of a sale so we love that okay here's the tank in the size extra small I definitely feel like it's a little bit tight under the arms here where it like cuts up a little bit high but overall it's still very stretchy it's still very comfy I actually really like this color too. Okay, and here's the tank in a size small. A little bit more room in here, but it is definitely looser in the body. I don't think it like is that noticeable, so I really think I could bounce between both sizes. They're both very comfy, a staple basic tank, and again, this color is perfect for fall. The next thing I got is this home stretch crew. Again, just a basic gray tee. I think that this is going to pair well with a lot of things for fall. And I did get a size small in this one. And this is the color Heather Chrome. Nice stretchy kind of ribbed t-shirt. Okay, I absolutely love the fit of this t-shirt. It is so soft, so stretchy, and it fits so good. Like it's, if you're looking for a basic, this is it. This is so cute. I am obsessed. We'll definitely have to be picking up more colors in this shirt too. And then I also got the Babaton Everyday Tee. This is the hip length one. I like the cropped ones a little bit better, but I don't know if they're discontinuing them or what. We just got the hip length. I just need a new replacement for a white t-shirt and the Everyday Tees from Babaton are literally the best. And then I also got this contour fit cropped long sleeve. I thought this would be cute with like brown leggings or green leggings with a puffer vest over it. We'll see. I'm not really sure. I do like the contour line. I have a few bodysuits. Okay, here's the long sleeve contour crop top. I feel like this was a little bit more cropped than I was hoping it to be, but these are high-waisted align leggings, so I don't know if this is like too much skin that I don't like. And then I want to give you like the full outfit vision, so I'm going to show you like my full outfit that I was like kind of hoping or like going for. This was kind of the look. Okay, moving on. Let's do dynamite. First of all, what the heck is this packaging? I don't really know why they have like handles. I feel like this should have been sealed because my clothes are just, you know, out in the mail to get dirty, but it's fine. I ended up getting two things from dynamite. The first thing I got is this cute little cropped cardigan. I just love this heathered kind of brown color. Looking for something that is more cropped. I know these cropped cardigans are super in right now too. This is so soft. Again, I love this length. I love that it's like a cozier, chunkier knit, but this is like so cute. I love this. And then I also got this little sweater tank thing. I tried this on previously for summer and then I regretted not getting it. So I saw this on Markdown and I just had to grab it. And I think it's a good transitional piece into fall for like those days that are like kind of warm. I absolutely love this sweater tank. It is such a flattering cut, I feel like for me. I like it. Again, not very like in my wheelhouse typically, but I really, really like this. I ended up getting the Ugg. This is my first pair of like legit Uggs actually, but I did get the Golden Stars. I hope that this is a good color. Apparently Hickory is the color everyone's going with, which I did not get the memo until it was too late. I did end up getting them in sand, which I feel like is going to go with a lot more in my closet because they are like a lighter shoe. I went with a size seven, which is technically half a size up for my true to size. I'd say my true to size is a size six and a half. And I did try that one on as well, which felt really nice without the strap, but with the strap on the seven did feel nicer. So let's see. We're going to 
gonna slip these on. Oh yeah, with thicker socks, I feel like the seven was a better choice. Anyways, you'll see them better on in the try on, but I did have thinner socks on that day. But no, with thicker socks, the seven feels so much better. These are so cute though. I think these will be perfect for like just running out, doing errands, just a slip on shoe. So I just wanted something like easy. I do live in a snowier climate, so as soon as the snow flies, I will not be wearing these. Or if it's like rainy outside, probably won't wear these. I do need to get some spray to spray them really well with all weather spray to help protect them. I am super excited about this purchase and adding these to my closet. I feel like I don't really get a lot of shoes, so I'm very, very excited to kind of refresh my shoe situation. Next package is from American Eagle. Okay, I ended up getting a few things actually from Airy and American Eagle. The first one is this little Henley top. This is definitely looking a lot slimmer. I thought this was gonna be like more of a relaxed, oversized fit. So we'll see. I got a size extra small. I got a size extra small in this. I love the cream color though. I think that this would be perfect. Again, a pairing with the, those brown neutrals, even like a green or just like plain black leggings or jeans. It is a little bit like ribbed kind of stretchy okay i'm just re-looking online of like what i ordered and this is the photo for it which makes it look a lot more relaxed fit but it is definitely a slimmer fit so we'll see on the try on if i actually like this item or not okay so here is the henley tried on honestly this is not really what i was envisioning and not really what i was hoping for it is definitely more of a like slimmer fit i feel like and i just don't like how like loose this looks here and i just feel like there's too much fabric but i don't think sizing down is really an option so unfortunately this one is kind of a miss just not really what i had in mind what i was envisioning so i feel like this one could be cute but i just don't really like the way it fits on me then i also got in the same cream color this cute little cropped cardigan this one's a lot thinner not like a chunky knit more of that rib texture which again super trendy for fall but this looks so comfy and very stretchy i feel like this is going to be just a nice closet basic staple i am absolutely in love with this i think i'm going to order some more colors this is just so cute it's so comfy perfect length i'm obsessed that is the next thing I got and I got a size extra small in this. One of my favorite pieces for like that transition from summer to fall are maxi dresses and I only have a couple of them so when I saw this like brown one at Airy, I thought that this would be super cute. It is very very long so I'm only 5'2". We'll see how this actually fits when I try it on but it's just a basic plain short sleeve maxi dress. Okay, I'm actually super impressed with this dress. I do think it is a little bit tight in the sleeves, but I don't think I would size up or anything. I just feel like this is so cute, very soft, very stretchy and comfy. I love the fit of it. It is like just the perfect length for me at 5'2". I'm obsessed. I feel like this dress is kind of giving skims dupe as well. If you know like the long skim dress that is like super popular, I feel like this is a really good dupe. I've never tried the skims one, but it looks like skims, okay? And the last thing I got is actually a pair of cargos. I've been wanting a pair of cargos for so long. I got a 24 regular. These are only mid-rise. Usually I'm a high-rise girly, so we'll see how these ones fit. I don't know. They're definitely like a little bit thinner than I thought they were going to be. Like I thought there was going to be more like a thicker denim -y type of material. I feel like my camera angle is not wide enough for this, but here are the cargo pants. These are double zero, but I feel like they're still like pretty loose so these definitely run big if you were to get them they are definitely a mid rise i don't know they're kind of cute they're very very comfy i did get the regular length and i think that these are the perfect length at 5'2 again my inseam is about 27 inches so i feel like that these really work they're definitely not really my typical style but i actually kind of like branching out a little bit i don't know if i would want to necessarily size down but i definitely could size down that is everything i got at american eagle and finally we have our last package here from h&m this one honestly took forever to ship this is the one i've been waiting on for the longest time thankfully everything is here now so the first thing i got is this little knit sweater this is definitely on the thinner side i feel like but i just kind of wanted something to like also accessorize with not necessarily just to like wear as well because if you know i'm a lululemon girly and they have a perfectly oversized 
Rock Crew with the stripe that kind of looks like this and it's so so cute and I really wanted it but I just could not justify the $128 price tag for it and this one's only $17.99 so I feel like this as an accessory was a lot more justifiable but could also be cute worn as a regular sweater. That is the first thing I got. Probably not the softest material. It feels a little bit itchy but you know what it's gonna do. Okay and here's how I was kind of envisioning like styling the sweater with this outfit. So again just kind of like an over the shoulder moment here. I don't know if this is like cute or not but this is how I was like envisioning the style. I definitely feel like the sleeves of this one is a lot more baggy than I was anticipating but here's what it looks like on. I actually really like this. I think the stripes are super in as well. It's definitely a lighter sweater. It's not that thick, but I still think it's really cute. The next thing I saw on TikTok that I just, I had to get this. This is like a plain basic cream cardigan, but I just love the gold button details. I feel like this is really in and trendy for fall right now. It's like, but again, a chunkier knit cardigan, a little bit more like relaxed fitting. And I just wanted more sweaters in general for fall and winter. I feel like I really lacked on like the cute sweaters. I have a ton of hoodies and crew necks and whatnot, but I don't have any like cute cardigans and stuff. So I think that this will be perfect. I feel like this one definitely fits a little bit more boxy, but I actually really like this. I love the gold detailing. I think it adds just like a little bit of elevation to the outfit, but it is a cute little chunky knit cardigan again love the slouchiness and i think it definitely looks better with like a tank versus the other one with the shirt and speaking of crew necks the last thing i got is a replacement of my h&m relax fit crew because these are my absolute favorite I've pretty much worn my other gray one out, so I wanted to pick up a replacement of that. And these are by far my, like, my favorite staple day-to-day -day crew. I get so many questions about them, and they are also only like $17, I'm pretty sure. So if you're looking for a good like basic staple, then I highly recommend these H&M ones. Again, technically in the men's section, but they are very unisex. So that brings us to the end of this video and this very large fall haul. If you guys made it all the way to the end and enjoyed it, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and leave me a comment down below on your favorite pieces for fall and if you like this video let me know if you want me to do more of them I had such a fun time filming this so if you guys want to see more of these types of online shopping and haul videos then be sure to let me know that down below in the comments I will have everything linked in the description in case you want to check anything out it will all be listed there for you but thanks so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end then you're the best and I hope to see you in my next video bye